Hello, and welcome to my video demo of my Ruby on Rails app, Ban Builder. So before we get started, a little bit of background on what this app does. So this app revolves around building a band to play a gig. So I have uh, different models for uh, musician, gig, uh, instrument, genre, audition, and music director. So the music director is in charge of creating and managing a gig, and a musician is uh, somebody who plays on the gig. So let's get started. So first I'm gonna sign up as a music director. I'm just gonna pick a generic name, John Smith. John Smith at mail.com is gonna be my email. Type in a password, wait, just so I remember what it is. And I don't have to put in a bio, but I'm gonna put one in anyway. And so I can select type between music director and musician here. Um, so I'm gonna stick with music director. I don't need to fill in these categories just yet because those are reserved for musicians. So I'm going to create a user and there I am, or there is John Smith. Okay, so now we'll see links for upcoming gigs, edit profile and create new gig. So, um, so let's take a look at my upcoming gigs. I don't have any. So let's create a new one. So, so here's the new gig and the description. This is a new gig. Location, let's play my backyard. And uh, I'm just gonna pick a generic date, well, uh, just a, a default date for now and time. So let's say that the show lasts an hour, okay. My budget, let's say it's $5,000. And now I can add instruments to that gig. So let's do that. So I'm gonna see electric guitar, bass, piano, drums, um, vocals. And let's say there's an instrument that's listed here or that isn't listed here. And I wanna add that. So let's say I want a, a harpsichordist. Don't know why I would, but so I'm, at, I'm gonna add harpsichord here and that's going to create a new instrument when I hit create. There we go. So here's my new gig, my, the associated music director, John Smith, and all the info, all the open instrument slots, current budget there. Okay. So now I'm gonna sign out as John Smith and I'm going to log in as myself via Google's OAuth client. There I am and boom. Okay, so here's me and my empty profile. Let's build it out. This is the first time I'm using this as myself. So, so my name is already there. Bio, is my bio. Okay, and now since I'm a musician, I'm going to pick an instrument and I'm going to select a pay rate. Let's say I get paid 500 bucks per gig. Update profile. There we go. So there's my profile. Don't have any gigs. And so let's say I start perusing gigs. Okay, so here are all the gigs. And look, there's the new gig that I just created as John Smith. So I noticed that there is an open slot for electric guitar. And below, I have a button from which I can audition for the gig. So there we go. So now I've requested audition for the gig. So now I'm gonna go and log back in as John Smith. So log out, log in as John Smith at mail. And then, uh, well, first let me just try to throw an error message. I'm just gonna type in a random password and nope, denied. So Smith at mail and the actual password, there we go. So now I'm back in as John Smith. So let's take a look at my gigs. Okay, new gig and boom. So now I have a list of the, the, the musicians who are going to audition for my gig. So there's me. And so let's say I auditioned as myself and didn't do a good job. So if I hit this button here as John Smith, 
to decline Patrick Brennan's services, then uh, basically if I, as Patrick Brennan, were to navigate to uh, this gig page as Patrick Brennan, then I would get a, a message saying, sorry, you didn't, uh, you, you, were, you were denied for the gig. Hope, better luck next time. But let's say um, I did a good job in the audition and John Smith wants to book me. So go to book musicians and here we go. So here's, here's the, the edit gig page again, but you'll notice everything checked off, all the instruments. And you'll notice that the, uh, the harpsichordist was added, but there aren't any harpsichordists in the database at the moment, but now somebody can sign up as a harpsichordist. So I could add electric guitarist. Okay, I'm gonna add me over Jimi Hendrix and Chet Atkins, which nobody would ever do, but here we are. And let's say I add some other instru other instrumentalists, Woods Collins, Rick Wakeman, Keith Moon, Freddie Mercury. Okay, so let's keep it at that. And now notice here, the budget is $5,000. Update gig, musicians added successfully. And you'll notice that the budget is adjusted. So, so basically when I book a musician, if I'm budgeted for the correct amount to pay everybody, well then whatever the pay rate of each of these musicians is comes out of that budget. So since I, my pay rate was $500, that came out of this budget and everybody else's uh, pay rate is a little different. That all comes out of this budget. There we go. And so that is the, the essential functionality of Band Builder. Uh, so let's take a look at what's going on in the nav bar. Uh, so I already de demonstrated logout. Uh, so here are all musicians sorted by instrument. Here are all music directors. So I can click on every one of them. Okay, so here's Nathan Watts. Um, he was uh, CB Wonders music director, or is CB Wonders music director. And here's one of his up upcoming gigs. And wow, that's a pretty stacked lineup. Uh, so now I can look at gigs in general and here are all upcoming gigs. Gigs currently in process. In this case, there's a big US tour that takes months and months and months. And let's take a look at instruments. Okay, so now I can look up all instruments by a specific instrument. Here's electric guitar. There's me with Hendrix and Chet Atkins. And then genres. I can look up all the gigs by genre. Okay, let's say I'm, I'm interested in rock gigs. Okay, there's the, the funky rock show at Rockwood and there's the new gig. Look at that. And that's the gist of it. So uh, thank you guys for watching and that'll do it.